Hello and welcome to the demonstration of your library on the mobile. Today we are going to take a quick view, quick demonstration of two apps that we have developed for NIT Delhi and NIT Hamirpur. These apps are available on iPhone and Android and you can download it from the App Store. For example, I'm going to be using the iPhone App Store. I go and I make a search for NIT Delhi eLibrary app. I get this particular app. It's already installed on my phone. So I'm going to simply open the app. The moment you open the app, you are brought into the app login page. If you are a new user and you're not on the campus, you can click on I'm a new user and it will give you a message that you need to register first from the campus. This is to ensure that app is securely used by only authorized users. Once you are an authorized user and you have your login information, you can sign in. So, and I, I'm going to use my login and then sign in. Once you signed in, you come to the home page of this app where you can see the latest journal issues. As also you can see what are the books that are being recommended by the application for you or the journals that are being recommended by the application. On the left hand side is your navigator pane. You can browse your library in multiple ways. To begin with, you can browse your library by the publishers that you have access to. So NIT Hamirpur subscribe to several publishers and each of them are listed in a very nice tiles representing each publishers. You can access Science Direct by simply clicking on it. It will show you that the application provides you access to 522 titles from Science Direct. If you click on Read, it will take you to the Science Direct platform from where you can access the Science Direct journal. You can zoom in. You can filter the content by subject, you can filter by author, you can filter by publisher and you can filter by type whether it's a journal or a book. You can once again look at navigating by going to the various subjects. Each of the subject areas are classified by the Library of Congress classification. This is a standard classification that we have used, but library can customize its classification. For example, one of the library customers requested us to, uh, to have a category called nanomaterials because they were offering a particular course which is focused on nanomaterials and they wanted their students to have access to content related to nanomaterials. So this subject tiles gives you access to books and journals and different other content available in that particular subject area. For example, if I click on chemistry, it will bring me different journals from different publishers. For example, you can see Springer, you can see Science Direct, you can see Wiley, which are available on this platform. There are about 370 chemistry related titles available on the platform. I can simply just look at the various ebooks or I can simply look at the various e-journals. You can also have the opportunity for your library to put some information about your own library. For example, NIT Hamirpur has spoken about the institute, the library, what are the library hours, and you can put several other information to your users. You can also send app-based notification to your users. For example, if you your library is closing down early, 
or uh, there are new publishers available for trial or maybe a library newsletter to your users. You can send this as app-based notifications.